Hey everybody, Tony Mejia here for Playbook Experts. Welcome to our YouTube channel for the recap of the NBA on Tuesday. Happy Wednesday. We're halfway through the work week. A big basketball weekend ahead in both college and pro. And we're going to talk about the goings on in the NBA on Tuesday. Mediocre night for me. I did win my big play on the uh, Pacers and Mavericks going over the post to total. But uh, I was on the receiving end of the Boston collapse, which we'll start with here uh, on this uh, video. Boston loses a 22 point lead. They were 364 and 0, dating back to 97 98. Went up by 20 plus in the fourth quarter, uh, and the magic of Dean Wade bit them. Wade outscored the Boston Celtics by himself. You can't make this stuff up. Hit a bunch of threes. They, they didn't guard him, even though he was flammable. And uh, he also had a huge putback where he wasn't boxed out. Um, just an, uh, an amazing performance there in the fourth quarter from Wade. Cavaliers with a much needed win, considering how much they've regressed uh, through uh, since the All-Star break where they were sitting pretty as the central division leaders. Now it looks like they're going to have to uh, you know, pick up their pace to stay out of the, the play in uh, Donovan Mitchell will miss some time. He'll be out probably the rest of the week, uh, but Cavs picked up a huge victory without him considering they looked at in the water uh, against the Celtics who were at full strength and uh, making matters worse for the Cavaliers is Evan Mobley leaving in the third quarter with an injury. We'll see what happens with him going forward. Uh, but certainly, uh, an uplifting win for the Cavs. Boston now looks to regroup as they hit the road, uh, you know, go west because the, the Cavs game was on the road. But now they go west to face the Denver Nuggets in a potential finals preview on Thursday night. Let's uh, look at what else happened. Trey Murphy, the third, uh, became just the seventh player in NBA history to hit uh, 10 or more three pointers off the bench. Pelicans destroyed. Uh, a, a Toronto Raptor squad that is was missing both Jakob Pertle and uh, Scotty Barnes due to hand injuries. Pertle's a pinky. We'll see when he comes back. Barnes, we may not see him again the rest of the season. Emmanuel quickly had a good game for Toronto, but um, they were overwhelmed by uh, by uh, New Orleans. And it, 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 essentially, if Murphy's hitting all those shots off the bench, it's going to be hard to beat the Pelicans uh, given their starting five and uh, and the fact that uh, now their bench is back to uh, its normal. Uh, state with uh, Jose Alvarado having served his suspension for that uh, his part in the brawl against the Miami Heat. Uh, we had another uh, big game in, in New York where Atlanta uh, defeated the Knicks. Uh, no Jalen Brunson, but good news for uh, New York fans who have been uh, really beside themselves due to the team being decimated by injuries. Brunson's knee contusion uh, suffered on Sunday night against the Cavs. Uh, his MRI came back clean. Uh, he was held out through precautionary reasons, but should be back sooner than later. Dante DiVincenzo and uh, Josh Hart have been holding the fourth down for the Knicks. They even beat the Cavs shorthanded on Sunday night after Brunson suffered that injury, but they weren't as lucky uh, against the Hawks. Jalen Johnson and DeJounte Murray had great games, uh, and Atlanta controlled that contest from start to finish. Miami survived. Detroit didn't cover, but Jimmy Butler played well again. Uh, the Philadelphia 76ers lost against the Brooklyn Nets. Nets rebounded from that awful loss against the depleted Memphis Grizzlies uh, and took advantage of Tyrese Maxey sitting out uh, potentially due to a concussion um, suffered on Sunday against the Mavericks. He should be back sooner than later as well. The San Antonio Spurs uh, got a, Victor Wembanyama. Uh, in the mix, despite the fact that he was questionable, but still lost to the Houston Rockets. Fantastic game from Alper and Shangoon. Mentioned the Pacers and Mavericks earlier. Indy just has Dallas's number, despite another triple double, uh, 30 point plus, and uh, you know, 11 rebounds, 10 assists, I believe, from Luka Doncic. They just don't defend the Dallas Mavericks, uh, and they take they take possessions off. You can't do that in the NBA, especially against a team that's as proficient offensively as Indiana. Pacers with another blowout win, the overhit, like I said. And Phoenix and Denver went to overtime. Suns almost blew another lead. Uh, Nuggets forced the OT, uh, rallying in the fourth quarter, but Phoenix took control in the extra five minutes. Kevin Durant, uh, who had a huge shot there late in regulation to avoid the collapse, was big in the fourth quarter, as was Bradley Beal. They'll get Devin Booker back from his ankle injury sooner than later as well. So massive victory for Phoenix. On Wednesday night, we've got a full slate of contests. 
Um, you know, we'll see what happens here in in uh, multiple games. Uh, the Clippers visit the Rockets. We'll see if Shangun can stay hot. Philadelphia potentially gets Maxi back against Memphis. They need to bounce back. Cleveland and Atlanta square off, both playing on the second night of a back-to-back. Chicago visits Utah. Jazz might be down to a skeleton crew, depends uh, depending on whether Keontae George can overcome an illness and play. Oklahoma City visits Portland. The Blazers still uh, really without a lot of their guards. Uh, and in the games of the night, both late, Milwaukee visits Golden State and Sacramento visits the Lakers. For our free pick, we like the Orlando Magic. One with them on the free pick on uh, Tuesday, and we're going back to the well, laying seven against the Washington Wizards. Washington has lost 15 consecutive games. They'll tie a franchise record if they lose a 16th. Orlando has won and covered four straight games, or above 500, 10 games above 500, I should say, uh, for the first time since April of 2012, and have come uh, up in the Eastern Conference standings to fourth. We'll see how long that lasts, but certainly few teams are playing better than the Magic. Uh, Paolo Banquero and uh, Franz Wagner, who actually had an off night last night, should handle business in D.C. Uh, no Jonathan Isaac, who's been an X-Factor off the bench uh, as he uh, is dealing with knee maintenance, as they they have. They don't play him in back-to-backs. We'll see if Markel Fultz will make it back. I don't think it matters if he plays or not. Uh, feel comfortable with Jalen Suggs and Cole Anthony handling business if there is no faults. Lay the points with the Orlando Magic for our free play. We'll be back on Thursday to recap Wednesday's action and give you some free plays and obviously preview that humongous Celtics and Nuggets clash in Denver. Again, you can see all of my work and all my picks at pb.buzz slash tm. For Playbook Experts and our YouTube channel, I'm Tony Mejia signing off.